Hey everybody, in this video I'm going to be going over some magma base builds utilizing the new Dread Talisman in Shadow of the Erd Tree. Uh, this takes some original weapons found in Elden Ring and turns them into some really powerful options. Uh, and even some of the weapons that were kind of powerful to begin with, even more so. So I'll go over the structure of the build and the items that you can use to stack some pretty crazy damage with this. Uh, and then demonstrate it with four different weapons. The Magma Worm Scale Sword, the Magma Blade, the Blasphemous Blade, and then finally the Great Sword utilizing the Eruption Ash of War. Um, also, this would work with the Magma Whip weapon as well. Uh, however, I locked myself out of, out of getting that, so um, the build would work with that as well, but if you want to try that, you might have to do that on your own. Before we get started, just in case you don't have the Talisman of the Dread yet, it is fairly straightforward to get. Uh, it's located in that shack that you can see behind me there. It's on a corpse that you can loot. So uh, looking at the map, it's this Elder's Hovel, and from the castle front side of Grace, it's a pretty quick run. Just make your way down this hill, uh, and then this is where we're at currently, and then just continue along this path. Uh, and again, you just run over there and grab it real quick. All right, so now getting into the actual build. So this is going to be the same for all four weapons. Uh, so I'll kind of go over all of the items first and then do a demonstration for each weapon, showing the damage impact and then a little bit of gameplay footage of it being used. So this primarily is going to build around the skill. All four of these weapons, the skill is magma based. However, inherently, some of these items will increase the physical attack damage of the weapons as well. But the main purpose of this is to enhance the skill damage as much as possible. So uh, starting off, looking at the items here, I've got the Rakshasa armor set, so each one of these pieces equipped is going to add roughly about 2% damage, so with this full set equipped, that's an 8% damage increase. Uh, and then looking at the talismans, all of these weapons are also fire-based, so this fire scorpion charm is going to enhance that damage. And then we get into the talisman of the dread, so this is specifically for the skill, because those are magma-based. Uh, so that will enhance the skill damage, and then that also stacks with Shard of Alexander for additional skill damage. Uh, and then finally, you could probably swap this out with something else if you don't want to use Ritual Sword Talisman. I'm using it just to further enhance the damage, but I mean, you could kind of use that just sort of as an extra slot for something else if you wanted to have your sort of your own take on the build. Uh, and then finally, uh, for the Wondrous Physic, I'm using, again, the Flame Shrouding Crack tier for the fire aspect of the weapons. And then also the Oil Soaked tier, which when you first hit an enemy, coats them with oil. And then when you follow up with fire damage, it's going to have a damage boost. So uh, I'll show that uh, um, kind of a demonstration of how that works as well, if you haven't used that before. Uh, and then finally, I'm going to do some buffs. So Flame Grant Me Strength, as you can see in the bottom left there. And then also I have uh, Rallying Standard equipped for an additional buff. So those will be the two primary buffs that I use as well. And then also just a quick note. So I don't have all four of these weapons fully upgraded. I have one that's plus 10, but they're either plus 9 or plus 24. Um, so you could technically enhance this even further by getting these fully upgraded. And then also in terms of my stats, uh, I, I'm not optimized for all four of these weapons, uh, particularly around faith. So most of these are faith-based weapons, and you can see I'm only at 25 there. So technically, if you're like get fully optimized around this build, you'd probably want to you know optimize those stats a little bit better. So first off, we'll look at the Magma Worm Scale Sword. Uh, so this has two inputs to the attack. You have the Slam Down, which has lava, and then you can also do a follow-up attack by hitting the button again to slice backwards. So uh, if we take a look at the damage with nothing equipped as sort of the baseline damage here, Let's see what that comes out to. So you can see it has some uh, damage over time as well. So that's 52.43. And now looking at the build damage, so we've got all of our equipment on and our buffs active. So with the Wondrous Physic and the Oil uh, Soak tier, so you notice I drink that and I, my body's now covered in oil. So you can, if you notice the tint changes on the enemy, so that's going to let you know that the oil's active. So with all of that, we'll do another attack here. Let's see what damage we get. So that increases to 14, 535. Next we've got the Magma Blade with the Magma Shower skill. So this also has two inputs. You can do just one where you do a sort of a swinging attack and then there's again lava on the ground. However, if you do the follow-up, you can do sort of a spinning attack combo. So, uh, again, without anything equipped, see what the damage is there. So that's 3398. 
And then with our build, we'll get uh, make sure he's coated in oil, do the same attack. And that increases to 9,766. Now we've got the Blasphemous Blade with Taker's Flame. So this is a ranged attack uh, that also will steal HP, uh, which looks like that. And with nothing equipped, the damage on that is 2,491. And with our build and all of our buffs active, make sure he's coated in oil, and we get 9,110. And then finally looking at the Eruption Ash of War. So I have this applied to the Greatsword, but you could obviously use other weapons as well. I'm also using the Fire Affinity. And for this skill, you uh, it's just one input, you slam it down and then raise up with again more lava, similar to the others. So uh, again, with nothing equipped, the base damage on that is going to be 3,875. And with the build, that comes out to 12,226. All right, so wrapping things up, that is the magma build that I've been playing around with. Uh, and as mentioned, there's also the magma whip candlestick weapon that I unfortunately don't have, but that should also work with this build as well. Um, as far as I'm aware, those are the only weapons and skills that have magma based damage. Uh, if I'm missing one please, or others, please let me know. Uh, I'd be interested in trying those out as well. Um, but yeah, the four that I did show, uh, as you can see, has the potential to put out a ton of damage when you stack all those different items and buffs. Um, each one kind of has its own unique flavor and play style, and this build kind of works equally for the most part for all four of them, so it's nice to be able to kind of swap them in and out for a little bit of, uh, you know, diversity there. But uh, anyways, uh, you know, give it a try if you're interested. Uh, hopefully you enjoyed this video, and we will see you later. Bye.